We are back for part three. We're still in puzzle number two. I just picked up a free spin, so I have to spin. There isn't anything. There isn't much that I that I can do. Now this could be close. Looks like a little too much. Two hundred dollars. Okay, I'll go for a T. There are two T's. Okay. Oh, I know what it is now. I'd like to buy Val a U. There is one U. Okay, there's one U in the puzzle. I'm going to spin. Nice work. Now I am going to try for that trip. See if I can pick it up. Landed on 200 the last time. Well, I went a little bit too far. Oh, don't tell me. Oh, no. Lose a turn. A little bit too much. Would you much. like to use your free spin? Oh, I have free... Yeah, I'm going to use... I'm going to use it. So, of course, as of this season, this current wheel season, they've abandoned the free spin, made way for a free, free play wedge, and it's five hundred. Five hundred dollars. I'll have a an L. There are two L's. And that's gonna be it for me. I'm not spinning that thing anymore. Okay, I think I'll solve the puzzle. Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. So now I have the lead, I have familiar territory. Thanks to that free spin, I was able to keep my turn and come out with the lead. There's a $3,500 space on the wheel and a new prize. And it's a phrase. The category is a phrase. Round three starts with player three. Good luck. That happens to be Cindy. <laughs> Trip is right there. And it looks like five, no, two hundred for Cindy. Two hundred dollars. So two hundred dollars starts. She can find some letters. She's going for P. There are no P's. Just like I thought. So now we're going to me. Contestant number one. It's your turn. A blunt object to the back of the head. Yes, I believe we'll find blood and hair. Well, blood on an object here. You know, one of the bookends, the obelisk, crystal ashtray. Oops, I think I might have to do it again. Well, maybe not. One thousand dollars. Yeah, I made out pretty good. Uh, I'll pick a T. There are no T. Wow. You talk about tough luck. I've had like three or two or three chances and both times I've blown them. It's your turn. All the all those times I blew it. Now I move to Bill. Four 
hundred and fifty dollars. There are no F's. Well, maybe not. Well, no F in the puzzle, so now we move. Contestant number three, it's your turn. I'm starving. Come To Cindy. I don't think a trip is in Cindy's future. It's that. Guys, Lose a turn. Mm, Ducky didn't like it either. So it's tawdry. Oh, no, no. The bottom oh. of the bottom is what I found There's a partial palm print on this bust of Kennedy. And if you remember your history, All right. there's a partial palm print on the man like a rifle used to... Contestant number one, it's your turn. Don't tell me that uh, you tried to match him. No, there's not enough room to print there, guys. But it's better to be cold to try. Are you saying that our palm print may be useless for identification? Yes. But do you think that's weird? <laughs> that the Kennedy bus and the Kennedy murder weapons both have first palm prints? Someone thinks it's weird, Adam. Uh, well, the latency found at the hotel. Well, a little bit too much. Some unknowns and some matches. The ones on the crystal tumbler and the McAllen belong to the victim. Four hundred. Four hundred dollars. How about an N? There are no N. Whoa! This has just been unbelievable. Contestant number two, it's your turn. So now I move to Bill. $1,000. And going for no S. S's. But we still can't find the letter. What is going on here? Contestant number three. It's your turn. I think a trip could be in Cindy's future. And it's another ocean cruise. Will she be able to pick it up? She's going for a D. There is one D. Well, Cindy gets to pick up the cruise. And she happens to win that cruise. I hope she packs her bathing suit. So obviously she's going to be on the water. I know the cruise is just a fictional... It's just a fictitious, it's just a fancy prize, but, you know. $500. Okay. She's going for a C now. No C. No. Susanna's not dead. So now I move to me. Oops. But we're getting close to 10 minutes again. Contestant number one, it's alive. your turn. Brower. Yeah. You tell me. Walter has been murdered. You say he may not be the only one. And then you ask me about Susanna. Of course I assume that she's dead. Too. A little bit too much. Looks like seven hundred. Seven hundred dollars. Okay, how about an R? Yeah. 
There are no R's. Can you believe this? This is unbelievable. Contestant number two, it's your turn. Well, we'll stop and I'll see you guys for part two, for part four.